Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you how to quickly create a water droplet effect using effects. For this example I'll assign the effect to some text. In order to work you need text with some boldness to it. The thinner the text is the less visible the effect will be. You want to have enough room for highlight and rim light in order to create some 3D appearance with those. Let's start with the inner bevel, a rather wide radius and a rounded curve for a smooth highlight. We need just the highlight, we don't need the shadow because we're working with black shapes. That way we can erase the fill with the blend mode later on. For the rim light I add a 3D effect so the light will come from the opposite side of the bevel because we are now illuminating the other side of the droplet where the light goes through the droplet and hits the other side of the surface. You want to create a rim light that is rather sharp without illuminating the whole character or the droplet because we need to keep the base color black. Any other color will show through when I change the blend mode later. Let's go in and change the layer blend mode. There are various settings that allow the black to be taken out. Screen is one of them that normally just takes and highlights whatever is there. In this case it is playing up, so is the overlay. The reason for that is rather strange because the effect is applied after the layer effect, so if I take the 3D off all of a sudden it's the effect I want, just the white showing through. As soon as I turn the 3D back on, we get a whole different picture. In order to avoid this, I leave the 3D on, but group the text or the object and assign the effect to the group. The nice thing in Affinity Designer is you can stack effects by grouping elements and assigning added effects to the group. In this case I just group the object and change the layer blend mode to add and we just get the highlights and the rim light to show up. Next I add an outer shadow to the text to give it some shape and make the outline visible again. I want a soft shadow so I increase the radius give it an offset that matches the light source chosen in the bevel prior and I change the color a deep purple matches the background blue better. I now have two sets of effects the highlight and the rim light on the main object and the drop shadow, outer shadow on the group if I add the outer shadow directly to the object, it will be erased by the add that is used on the group. I can soften the shadow a little bit by taking it from multiply to overlay. Now that I have set up the two effects, I can easily copy them onto new objects. I create a new layer, call it drops and we'll create some quick raindrops. I just create a bunch of circles, duplicate them and transform them with the node tool to give them unique shapes. For now let's just select them all and combine them into one shape with the boolean head so I can apply the effect. I select the main object and copy and select the new object and paste style or paste affix, both of them work and our objects will show the right effect if I alter the color to black. I need two parts again, the black droplets that hold the highlight and the rim light effect and the layer that holds the shadow effect. You can assign the lights directly to each shape. I'm being a little lazy here but 
It is easier to adjust as the smaller droplets would have slightly different settings. So I'm just fiddling with it to get something that looks okay on all my droplets. And that means reducing the bevel compared to the text and adjusting the 3D light. As soon as I change the shape of the droplets, the highlight and the rim light will change automatically with it. So does the drop shadow. I can add new objects to the group now and they immediately have the effects assigned. It's a fun little effect and it has a lot of potential. So play around with it, change the settings, see how you can do your kind of colors, your kind of shadows, highlights and make something unique. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and a like and let me know what you would like to see on the channel or on my blog and I'll see you again soon.